Scoop and scoop, scoop and doop and doop, doop. Ask Travis anything. Ash K asks, you've mentioned once before that we should provide case studies instead of traditional portfolio pages. Can you suggest a more detailed way of how a professional web designer or developer should maintain their web presence? Um, Ash K, there is, are a million answers to this question because everybody kind of does it their own way. Uh, but I can talk about my current strategy. So my current strategy is to identify the high traffic areas, the high searchable areas, the places where people will find me and optimize those uh, to display the things that I want people to see uh, to get the kind of work that I want to do. You follow me? Okay, so there's TravisNielsen.com. Is this a high traffic property? It's probably not. It's my personal website. If you know my name, you might go there. If I tell you about the website, you might go there. But it's it's not a very high traffic. I don't look at the I don't look at the analytics. I don't really care about who goes to travisnielsen.com. But what you'll find on travisnielsen.com is more or less a directory to other things, other things that I do keep updated and and and, and you know publish things that I want people to find on. For example, um, if I were a designer looking for work, I would, I would keep up um, a, a Dribbble and a Behance uh, account and keep those up to date with fresh work. And you know, I, I think that Dribbble and Behance are interesting because they do provide opportunities for you to have a showcase of your work. In other words, uh, what do we say, a, a case study. Right, Behance is this long page. It'll sh it let you show um, beginning ideas, process, results. Uh, you can put videos there. You can put animations. You can have long images, snapshots of work. It's a lot of stuff. Dribble also not not to the degree, but Dribble also um, you have that kind of cover image, but you can attach things if you have a pro account. So there's a lot of opportunity to to use those tools as um, portfolio pages. And why would you do that? You might think, well, a professional designer needs to have his own domain. Sure, I totally agree with that. I mean, I have my own because I need my home, right? But these are branches that you're placing out into the world, and these are findable branches, right? You do a search for Travis. Uh, let me think. Why would you do a search for Travis? You probably wouldn't. But if you do a search for like Designer San Francisco, uh, you you know Google uh, tubular. I don't I don't know like the video. I don't know I don't know what you'd search for, but the point is, my my Behance is much more likely to show up than my personal website if you're not describing me directly. Um, I've gotten more uh, more job offers through LinkedIn than any other platform. Uh, second only to be Hans. And it's funny because the, the quality of job offers are a lot lower on LinkedIn. Um, I've taken a lot more job offers from Behance, but, but the volume comes from LinkedIn. Uh, and then there's like the things that I do like YouTube and, and uh, Twitter and stuff. Those are pretty visible. So I, put, so I put creative work out here. Like I wanna teach potential collaborators, sponsors, um, patrons, um, clients, the kind of work that I want to do, which is this, which is talking with you guys, teaching, you know, people uh, elevating the craft. And if there's a way that I can make money doing that, then this is a great place to kind of broadcast that. So in summary, um, have a ba home base, but make it kind of a directory. This is like my strategy. It's not the only way to do it, but have a base and make it a directory. Now from that directory, use those branches out there that are available, that are high traffic, high search, like networking kind of oriented places to put your work in front of people. That's where they're gonna see it. They're not gonna see it at your own domain. So, um, and when you're out there, you know, you, you try to tell the story as much as possible. Don't think that just because you're showing somebody a pretty picture that they understand it. All right, Ash K, uh, thank you for your question. And uh, that's it for this video.
You just watch Ask Travis Anything. If you have a question for me, then send a tweet to at DevTipShow and hashtag it with Ask Travis Anything. Thanks for watching and check out the other questions on the playlist here on YouTube.